Hey friends, Will Silvers here, Driver Mojo. Wanted to give you an update on the Nissan Leaf, the uh, Indianapolis Electric Uber. Four months ago, I was looking back at the videos, and four months ago we shot the 100,000 milestone video. And uh, we had some good good reactions to that. A lot of community, a lot of people reaching out, asking about different different subjects on the, uh, on the thing. Anywho, we hit 112,000, hit my first problem with that, uh, ended up having a, uh, it immobilized itself, it had an error message on the screen saying EV system uh, will not start after shutdown, which means that the start of the vehicle has been inhibited for some reason or another, it's a self-protection mode. Anyway, it wouldn't charge, it wouldn't start. I had to get it towed to the dealership. They had it for two weeks. Um, I was given two phone calls from it. The first phone call said, well, it's probably gonna be about uh, uh, $1,500. She calls back about five, 10 minutes later. Uh, so, oh, he forgot to put some parts on there. It's gonna be $2,800. I'm like, well, that was an expensive 10 minutes. It went from bad to worse. Two weeks ahead, my car called me back with, okay, some kind of good news. I was skeptical at this good news because they got it reset, tested it, allegedly tested it, uh, couldn't find any more errors on it so they give me back my car only charged me a hundred dollars lucky me a hundred dollars and two weeks worth of having to rent a vehicle to work okay you don't have when you're full-time driver you don't drive you don't make money okay that's fine that was at 112,000 miles uh start you know went out went back out at it uh 115,000 one day, the magic error came back on the screen. EV system failed to start after shutdown. All right. Bullshit. My confidence is definitely shaken in this repair guy. First off, he didn't find anything. He's the only one in Indiana who's certified. He's the only one certified in our dealership to work on this. Okay, well, maybe he... I don't know. I'm not saying he, he didn't... I don't know. I don't know what he didn't do. Anyway, I feel like I was get, I'm was. i getting set up here because now at $115,000, second time towing it to the dealership um, and incurring expenses on an expensive rental. This freaking thing right here, $1,000 a month plus $600 in fuel, $150 a week in fuel. $1,600 of my $2,800 is gone on a monthly basis okay so that's a huge huge setback and then you're supposed to pay for a repair you're barely going to be treading water at that point okay so it, i'm operating at a loss here and i get a call today with the update now it's been in there already two weeks two weeks they've had it again this time i've been in this rental two weeks now they're saying, oh, well, it's it's possibly going to be $5,300. Uh, and he's going to have to he's going to have to drop the battery and ascertain what's uh, what's bad. Wait a minute. How do you come across with that as an estimate and you haven't even done the exact diagnosis? I mean, it's just ridiculous. I think we can get information just out of the computers, out of what's what the readings are. You should be able to get the aha from that. And why haven't you dropped the damn battery? If you find something, jump in. Oh, I don't understand it. I'm very upset by it. But I wanted to keep you updated because I keep getting questions about you know how it's going and uh, people also looking forward to the, the updates uh, on the, uh, the Nissan Leaf to find out, you know, we still going strong. No, I keep telling people I'm going to be a spokesperson for how durable or how terrible that battery pack is. All right. hundred thousand, no hitch. 112. We had our first hiccup. 105. And I, and I don't think they fixed that first hiccup. So we're back again 
now with a higher estimate than before. Now, if they go to replace some cells in that thing, my confidence is shaken entirely on the rest of the cells. If they only replace this much and it's five grand, what about this much that are potentially gonna fail too? Or is it something as simple as a little rebalancer module, a chip, a snap-in, a field replaceable unit? Look, I used to be a tech. There's ways to decipher what's working, what's not, what's giving you a reading, what's not, what's in norm, and what's not. So I feel like more needs to be done here. And uh, I've requested that they give me the parts, anything that they do replace in it, uh, that they give me the parts. I want the old parts so we can show them off, so we can measure them, so we can share them with the community. Um... Also, I want detailed notes, and he's, well, she's like, well, he'll give you detailed notes. That's, that's not a problem. So, that's where we stand with the Nissan Leaf at 115,000 miles, currently in the dealership for a long time. Why does it take so long to get parts for this thing? You guys made this car. Uh, four to six weeks? Haven't they heard of FedEx? It's fast. I mean, jeez. Anyway, that's the aggravating update. More to come. Stay tuned.